Hi, welcome for our uh, online training sessions. In this session, we are going to discuss about integration. What is meant by integration? What are different integration tools available in the market? And what is Oracle integration cloud service? These are different options and why we required integrations. What is the basic definition of integration? Integration is basically exchange the data between the applications. If the clients are using multiple applications, either within the server or across the multiple servers, they might be using different applications and different servers also. We wanted to transfer the data, means we want to automate the data exchange. Because the servers, your client, whoever is using, we cannot say that they will be using the same database or same application or the same data format. For example, client is using Oracle Vision ERP to maintain the financials data and they are using some SAP to maintain the supply chain management data. They are using Salesforce to maintain the CRM data. So how many applications clients are using now? Three applications. Now the financials data is available in Fusion ERP software. Supply chain management data we have in SAP. CRM data we have in Salesforce. Client wants to exchange the data between these applications. That time we are supposed to use the integration tools. We are supposed to use the integration tools. Without integration tools also, we can go for exchange the data by extracting the data from Fusion ERP and keep this file in the server and again load that data into the SAP application or Salesforce application. That's a manual process. Okay, that's a manual process. But we do not know what time the data will come from the application. The moment uh, when the data comes, it should automatically trigger. When we want to automate this data exchanging information or scheduling, then we will be using the integration tools. We know that what is cloud, we have discussed about in our uh, sessions and we talked about what is Oracle Cloud and we also know what is Oracle Fusion Application CRP software. So Fusion Application CRP is one of the ERP product in the Oracle Cloud, okay? There itself we have OACS, Oracle Integration Cloud Services. There is something called OAC, OACS and OCI, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. This is Oracle Integration Cloud Services. Oracle Integration Cloud Services. And OCI stands for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. This is uh, what we call it as OCI, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. What is the difference between these two? It looks like the names are slightly changed, OIC and OCI. OIC is basically integration OCI is basically infrastructure infrastructure is nothing but a servers if any client says that uh, i want to use oracle cloud uh, then what configuration we have to allocate right cloud means indirectly it's a virtual server we are supposed to allocate this uh, virtual server to the client right so it's an uh, it's an indirectly server configuration we are supposed to suggest to our uh, client saying that you can choose this particular server, this is the RAM and this is the server architecture or a different terminology we will find in cloud infrastructure. It's a hardware. So OCI developer or architect will suggest to the client saying that you can go with this configuration in Oracle Cloud servers. Okay, so that is Oracle Cloud infrastructure, nothing but servers. OICS is basically integration, Oracle Integration Cloud Services. This is used uh, to integrate the applications whenever we want to integrate uh, the applications and change, exchange the data between the applications, we will be using OICS. We'll be using OICS, okay. So OICS is one of the tool in Oracle Cloud. OCI also is one of the tool. Of course, OCI is uh, provided by Oracle. The client no need to go for subscribe for this OCI. But OACS, obviously, client has to go with the subscription. Client has to go with the licensed option here, OACS, okay? So whenever we are working with the Fusion Application CRP software, 
in Oracle Cloud. If client wants to have some integrations, means data exchange between the applications, the tool which Oracle suggests is OSS. What are the other tools who are the competitors in the market available here is? We have Delboomi is the another integration tool which is competitor for OSS. And we have MuleSoft is another uh, product and integration tool which we have. And we were having Oracle SO earlier, service oriented architecture SOA was there. Like these were the integration tools uh, we were having to integrate the applications. But now Oracle is suggesting for all Oracle Cloud uh, customers, let's go ahead with OSS. It's a separate tool where you can easily go for build the integrations, uh, which is very much useful. You don't need to write actually the code, but if you are good in programming, like the basic programming, for example, if we talk about PLSQL programming, if you want to write some PLSQL programming, we'll write uh, first declaration block and after that begin, then we'll write valid uh, PLSQL statements. After that, we'll go for handle the exceptions and then oh, we'll try to close the block here, end the block. And of course, we can have some declaration block uh, to declare the variables and all, right? So we have some specific uh, structure in PLSQL. If you have some idea, some basic about the PLSQL programming, it will be helpful. We don't write any PLSQL code here. Of course, system will allow us to write the coding also here in OICS, but most of the times without coding, just mapping itself, we can go for design the integrations in OICS. But if you are good in PLSQL logic, you can easily understand the OICS uh, integrations here. This is the look and feel of our application. This instance is different. You will be receiving this uh, URL separate from Oracle vendors. Uh, once we receive the URL and username and password, we can log into the applications. The moment when we log into the applications, we can find the integrations part over here. We are able to find the integrations over here. It is. So these are uh, different options. Mainly we'll be working with integrations here. There are some other like lookups are there, packages, agents, adapters, nothing but built-in adapters like LinkedIn adapter, Salesforce adapter, okay? And uh, SOA adapter, EBS adapter is basically, it's a built-in functionality, which we can directly use to exchange the data between the application. For example, Facebook adapter, LinkedIn. So this all uh, we have built-in provided by Oracle. Straight away, we can start using that adapters over here. Okay, so and we have something called Visual Builder also. That is a different tool. Visual Builder is a different tool, which we will be using uh, to develop the pages in our Fusion applications. We are going to use the Visual Builder options. Business to business uh, information exchange and other tasks we can find over here. Okay, so this is just a home page, how it looks like uh, the moment when we enter into the OACS uh, look and feel. Okay. So this session we just discussed uh, about what is integration? What are the different integration tools we have? What is the difference between OCI, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, and OSCS, Oracle Integration Cloud Services? We have talked about this, okay? And when the clients are using multiple applications, then only integration is required. If the clients are not using multiple applications, I don't think so we need integrations because uh, the data, whatever day-to-day -day business data they are entering, it stores in the same application. So we don't need to go for extract and we don't need to go for load it. If at all multiple applications are used and obviously client needs to exchange the data between the applications due to some business reasons, either for reporting point of view or functionality point of view or backup uh, their business data or reporting or analytics analysis purpose, we will be using that. Then in that scenario, we will be using the integration tool for integrating the applications and automate this all options can be done over here okay this is just an introduction about the introduction about the integration oics thank you